Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the program. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Basque Country again, since I talked about it uh, a week ago or so. They found the earliest domesticated dog in Western Europe in the area as well, which is uh, very interesting. So back in 1985, an excavation was conducted in which uh, an almost complete humerus was co- recovered from a canid. They've held on to it for the better part of, what, 38 years now? And they weren't able to uh, con- do anything with it until uh, recently, in which a morphological, radiometric, and genetic analysis uh, was conducted, and they figured out that it was a dog. The direct dating gives it an age of 17,400 to 17,000 years ago. So that would put it around 15,000 BC. And they came to that date using a particle accelerator mass spectrometry via carbon-14. So to put that in perspective, the earliest uh, generally accepted remains of the domesticated dog in Western Europe was in Germany, which was dated to uh, 14,200 years ago. Although the all oldest domesticated dog in general was in Siberia around 23,000 years ago. Something that kind of helped me memorize these dates was using the last glacial maximum as a temporal uh, bookmark. So the last glacial maximum was between, depending on who, where you read it, who you ask, 26 and a half thousand years ago to about 19,000 years ago. Dog domestication happened right around there in that, in that area. Although um, something interesting is the last common ancestor of the dog or paleolithic dogs, as if you want to get uh, super technical, the last common ancestor between paleolithic dogs and wolves is about 32,000 years ago. So right before the last glacial maximum, which is pretty interesting and, and helps me remember, not just remember the dates, but it gives me a a good reference and so anyway the the dogs found in spain or the dog which was buried with its owners and pretty well kept burial i guess um along with some other stuff was 17 so it's about 17 over seventeen thousand years ago and the so that's almost three thousand years older than the previously uh, accepted uh date so the origin of this lineage is linked to a period of cold climate coinciding with the last glacial maximum. There's probably the dog was probably descended from uh, dogs uh, bred specifically for cold climate, and which would make sense, right? There was a giant ice sheet right like right north of where um, Zestoa is. So there's an interesting quote at the end here. Uh, These results raise the possibility that wolf domestication occurred earlier than proposed. Until now, at least in Western Europe, where the interaction of Paleolithic hunter-gatherers with wild species such as the wolf may have been boosted in areas of glacial refuge, such as the Franco-Cantabrian period. So yeah, if there are, if there are displaced people or people living ar- around uh, in those conditions near uh, the, gla- the glacial tundra or whatever, they more than likely than not had dogs, right? I mean, you see it even today in, in the colder areas like Alaska and... Um, Siberia in which dogs are bred for uh, survival in that cold climate so anyway uh, I just thought this was an interesting uh, thing that came up on my uh, on the news desk and I thought I'd address it since we just talked about ba- uh, the Basque uh, hand of Arulagi a few, uh, about a week ago so anyway that about does it for this one